you spend a lot of time listening to iTunes, I'm going to tell you a few simple things you can do to improve your audio experience. First off, invest in some better headphones. There's no miracle that's going to make these sound any better. CNET has a roundup of great choices under $50 that will provide a night and day difference in audio quality. A good in-ear headphone or over-the-ear headphone will also help block out external noise so that you can hear details in your music and not have to turn up the full volume to drown out distractions. If you already have headphones figured out, try the sound enhancement setting in iTunes. Open up iTunes preferences and select the tab for playback. You'll see a sound enhancer box that you can check on and adjust to your taste. Moving the slider up seems to make the stereo effect a little bit more dramatic. Audio files may turn up their nose, but if you like what you hear, just go for it. While you're here, you'll also notice a box for sound check that will automatically adjust the volume between songs so that you're not racing for the volume control every time a quiet song comes on. Personally, I keep this off, but if it fixes a problem for you, you should use it. It's especially handy if you have music playing in your office. I should also mention the iTunes equalizer. You'd think this would be in the playback menu, but it's actually over here under Window. Open it up and you'll see a 10-band graphic equalizer that you can tweak to your heart's desire. You can start with a list of presets like rock, hip-hop, or classical, or you can make a manual adjustment to any of them and dial in things just the way you like. Now one cool trick that few people know about in iTunes is that you can actually assign different EQ presets to different songs. If you know that you want a little extra EQ when Led Zeppelin comes on, here's how to do it. Select a song or group of songs and then select Get Info from the File menu. Under the Options tab, you'll see a setting for Equalizer Preset along with a drop-down menu of all the different presets. Hit OK, and now whenever those songs come on, they'll sound just the way you like. So there you go, those are my tips for fine-tuning your iTunes audio experience. For more tips like this, head over to howto.cnet.com. I'm Donald Bell, thanks for watching.